boys and girls hairstyles. Today I have Linda with me. Um, super good friend. We was in the same ward for a long, long time till I decided to keep moving. <laughs> but anyway, we was in, in our ward um, for a long time. Cut our hair for a long time. Anyway, she's just a sweetheart. So her haircut is really cute. I want to show you guys. It is um, stacked in the back. So you can see this is, we go eight weeks, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yep, we go eight weeks. And sorry, I'm just gonna dry this off while I'm talking. Um, so yeah, we go eight weeks in between and this haircut lasts her. Um, this is really long for now. And so I just wanna show you guys how I'm going to stack this. Um, a lot of people have kind of a hard time stacking. It's hard to get the angle right. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how I do the angle when I do it. Um, and obviously, okay, we're just gonna take this hairline up. Um, so we like to keep this short, but it obviously depends on what your client likes. Um, Linda's, we like to stack it uh, pretty tight, um, and that just helps, you know, keep the haircut good for longer. And it also helps to not obviously have the hair back there um, to have to try to put into place. Um, it's just cut short so it falls into place. Oh my goodness, my shears. Guess I need to get them sharpened. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna come back around, make sure that's straight, even. And I'm just gonna clean up her neck a little bit here. Yeah, Linda does a lot with music. She's super good with music. Um, so that's a little fun fact about her. Okay, I'm going to take from, I'm gonna grab one more clip. Okay, so this is about from the top of the ear over. I'm going to, you can see my angle here. So um, if you want it stacked more, you're gonna go closer to the head. If you don't want it stacked as much, you're gonna bring your fingers out this way. So Linda, we go kind of in between. So it's stacked good, but it's not like extremely tight to her neck. Um, or, you know, back through this area, her nape area. Yeah, a lot of people um, <clears throat> have a hard time with stacking and that is okay. It's just getting that angle right. Um, you know, cause sometimes if, if your angle is too far in, you know, and then you have bulk down here because it's like cut in tight here and then it's, so you just kind of want to watch that of where you put that angle. And some people will say, oh, it doesn't matter. Like you can just cut it tight, whatever, whatever back there, hair will grow back. So that way you can go a little shorter. If not, just, you can always take it shorter after you dry it out. So you can stack it, then have your client look at it and see, you know, if they want it stacked more or not. Okay, now this side. Isn't that the best one to after the haircut then? <laughs> When it's all like cut down, so you don't have to worry about all that hair. Oh, definitely. It's great. <laughs> so fast. Yes, it does. She has hair that grows like a weed. But that's what I love about Linda's haircut, also, and that's what I wanted to tell you guys is if you do a haircut like this, I mean, and depending on you know how fast your hair grows, it might last longer. But she can go two months with the same haircut, and it still looks cute as it grows out. Might take, you know, a little longer to do by the time she gets back to get it cut off again, but it's doable and it stays in the shape good. So it's a pretty shape. Sorry, <laughs> my scissors go on here. Okay, so now the next, um, the next uh, section I'm going to take is about that thick. And you can take your sections, you know, as 
as thick as you need them. So I'm gonna show you something. So if you angle too far in, it's gonna be short up here and it probably won't match as good down here. So just be careful when you come up that you still keep your angle this way because then you can always round up with your layering, but you don't wanna go too short through this area or it's gonna look funny. So angle out with this guide point go up and then we can bring the layers into it. Okay. Same thing, just follow that guide point. Um, and then after this, I'll show you how to cut the sides up and get that all blended. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this back first. You doing okay, Linda? Great. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Perfect. That's the best part, right? Sit and relax. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, my clients, we always talk about how this is like just so relaxing. It's like such a pick me up. I guess that's why I love it so much, too. <laughs> like, it just makes me feel better all day long. <laughs> Okay, so I just kind of want to show you guys from the side. Like, see how that's stacked in here? All right, now <clears throat> we're gonna take, okay, so see this guide point here. We're gonna take this length. We're gonna come around at a 90 degree angle, which means straight out from her head shape, and we're putting in the layers. Guide point there, take those layers up and around. Okay, guide point there. So you can see if you was to take, you know, how I was showing you, back up into this area in the middle, if you take that too short, it can kind of look a little funny. So just watch that area and then you can blend everything in. Oh, caught the comb. Oh my goodness, I actually caught it. <laughs> That's a plus, it's a good day. <laughs> All right, now come on this side. Same thing here, that's the guide point. Coming around that head shape. Okay, now the side. side to make sure that that is all cut into there. Okay, so that's all the layering and stacking into there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in her sides. I'm going to comb this down. Just kind of comb around their ear, make sure the hair is out behind from their ear. And I'm going to come from this guide point back here forward to blend in the 
both sides. Make the length just right. Okay, same on this side. I'm gonna comb this down, tilt the head a little bit. Okay, then of course you're going to, let's see how close we got here, the length. You're gonna hold that down side to side, check that out. Make sure it's all even. So it's a titch longer over here, so I'm just gonna take a tiny bit. Okay, all right, now for the layering here. We're gonna go on the top. Gonna hold this up. This is the guide point with those layers right there. So we're gonna take this, come straight across with that. Okay, then I'm gonna hold the hair right here by the ear. I'm gonna hold it straight out. Take that length, and you can see where that's coming from. There's a guide point on the side there. 90 degree, just coming up like straight out from her head, kind of coming up like this. Okay, up to the top. Sweet, and then you can see I'm just gonna come get all the rest of that hair. Up around the face here. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. We're having an awesome day here. Feels great to be back to work. This isn't work. This is so much fun to me. <laughs> yep, yeah, that is one thing from my back surgery. I've just learned like I just need my clients. They are so good for my head. <laughs> I love, love the relationships. It's, it's way, way more than just cutting hair. Um, so if you're out there learning this haircut, there's way more to it than cutting hair. Lots of friendships. Okay, all right, so what I'm gonna do, and we can double check all of this after we dry. Um, she likes her bangs. And so I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna hold this. Linda, they are so long. I know they are. <laughs> I could put them to the side. I bet, I bet. Okay, and then I just bring these sides down, trim those. That way it comes around her face and it's not like too heavy. Like right here, because she doesn't want dog ears. <laughs> In fact, that's feeling heavy over here. So I'm gonna come over, take this. I'm gonna do this side. Oh, sorry. I just got her ear with my nail. Sorry, I just uh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's the thing too, you will feel when you cut, um, like where it's heavier, like, oh, we need to cut there. So I'm just taking a little bit more off. I can just feel that's gonna be too heavy. <laughs> so we're just taking a little bit more length. That's what I love about you know, just having, I mean, any client is awesome. I love them. I'm not saying that. It's just when you cut hair for a person, you know what they like, you know, you can feel what they like. So, you know, I was just looking and kind of feeling, I could see Linda needed more like thought. Okay, so now we're gonna come over on this side of the bang area. 
Sorry, I got a little sidetracked when I got over here, but <laughs> she needed it, so that's what we do. Okay, so you can see I'm holding the bangs. I'm resting my shears on my ring finger, and I just point cut into them. Just make sure this is all connected down by her face. And that way when you come down this way, when you dry it, it'll come around her face more instead of just hang heavy. Okay. So I always kind of lift up on the bang because you know that they're going to shrink a little bit. So hers, it's almost there, but... Within a couple weeks, it's gonna be <laughs> too long. So we have to go short enough to where it lasts, but not too, too short. And then sometimes, you know, I'll just dry your hair. And then if we feel like we need a little bit more, then I can take a little more. It's always easier to do that, especially if someone, and Linda's not picky about her veins, but if you have somebody picky about their veins, you're definitely probably going to want to cut and then just dry and then cut after. That is my suggest suggestion, just because you don't want to cut them too short. I would rather, you know, you come back and say, oh, we need to cut more off and have them be like, she chopped my things off. <laughs> that's happened to plenty of people, right? <laughs> okay, so you can see I'm just taking little chunks out in between her bangs. Um, that is just to make them so they're not so, so heavy. So if you want heavy, full looking bangs, then you probably don't need that. But we like to make hers a little wispy so they're not heavy. Okay, now Linda has a lot of hair. It's fine, but she has a lot of it. So texture is definitely her friend. It's a good, good thing. So we're coming in um, about a half inch. And then you can see I just kind of go through the, her whole um, hair strands by doing this, like holding the hair and coming out. It's almost like one, two, three, one, two, three, um, with these thinning shears. She just has so much hair. So if, if you don't take some of this out and texturize it, it will be really heavy. <laughs> Do you notice that too when you leave, how much easier it is to have it stand up? Obviously oh, yeah. because you have length off, but the texture really helps. So you can see I'm just kind of coming through here. Um, the other thing also is do not go by the hairline, do not go in apart. So just make sure you texturize um, away from, from those places, okay? All right, now we're going to dry and then we're gonna just kind of Look around and see if there's anything else we need to tidy up with her cut. Okay, I'm gonna use mousse. Mousse is nice um, for fine hair or if you want volume. Like I said, I would definitely rub this in really good throughout your whole head. Because some people will say, well, I just can't get my hair to style. And, so we talk about what products they use, things like that, but also how you apply the product can be huge. So if you grab mousse and you just go like this and go like, you know, you're not getting the full effect of what the mousse can do. So definitely go throughout the hair. And then the um, lift volume and lift spray is what I put in there. Okay, now we're just gonna dry the back down. And when it's about 80% dry, we're going to start um, with the round brush. Okay, so we're just going to go back and forth, you can see. Okay, then the front area with the bangs. Back and forth on the top just so you get extra volume. Okay, 
then I'm going to turn it on a low speed to do the bang area. And then in the back, so this is about 80% um, dry. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around. There we go. Get out of the cord. So about mid area. Because everything else you can just dry down, okay? So you're going to come up through here. And brush that down in. If you want, you can take clips and clip the other hair out of the way. I'm just working my way up. through this. I like it, you know, to have body and have a little bit of the roundness to it, the fullness, but we are going to just flat iron these down just a tiny bit. I love it. It's so pretty. So we can leave it soft like this. Um, we do poof hers just a little bit, not a ton. Let's see where it is. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> Looking for my back comb. So I'm just back combing this a little bit, um, just in, down, and out with your comb. And then I love to spray, obviously, in where I back combed. Just put it into place there. Same here, just back comb a little bit. And I can tame it down because she doesn't like it like way poof, but it is cute to have a little bit of body. Okay, same here. I just hold this tight and then in, down, and out. Okay. I think some people, it's hard to kind of get to know how to back home. Um, once you do, then you're good to go. But um, I think a lot of it is holding the hair tight enough to do it. So 
just a little tip while we're talking. Okay, now I'm gonna turn her to see, and maybe I need to pinch up a little bit. See, look at that, my back's doing better. I can actually pop up the chair. Okay, every little step I love. Okay, all right, let me take a little bit of length off this side, but everything else, that feel better? Oh yeah. Bangs, bangs out of your face, you don't have to shove them aside. <laughs> Okay, shouldn't say shove them aside, just push them aside. <laughs> All right, so I can just see this right side, your left side is just a little bit longer. I'm just taking a little bit of this length off. And a little bit through this area. All right, now we're gonna try that. Okay, so cute. I'm gonna turn her around so you can see the stack back here, fullness through here, but I love just all the layers. Um, so it's a stacked layered bob. It's not just a stacked bob that has long. This is so fun because it gives you body um, and it's really easy to style. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Linda, thanks for letting us show off your haircut. Um, she's a doll and I appreciate it. <clears throat> Brenna, thanks behind the camera. She's always back there doing a good job. Um, thanks so much for everything. You guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next video. Thanks.